fighting a Canadian in the next one. He's training in his home turf. What's that like? <laughs> um, I suppose I haven't thought about it too much. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't matter. We're fighting on uh, neutral soil. Yeah. But uh, nah, that's it. You know, people here are, are really supportive, and and it's been great. So it was, uh, I suppose, the first time fighting a Canadian. That was the first time you lost an MMA in like five years. So what was the? What did you learn from that fight? I guess. From that yeah, I learned a lot. Um, obviously, a tough fight. You know, um, I just just feel like I, I need a bit more time just to just to make everything solid in my game. Um, you know, I know I can perform better than I did on the on the night. You know, I just felt like I had, had no real drive in me. Um, but you know, I've had plenty of time now just to just to keep working in basics, and uh, and I feel like my game is starting to knit together now. Um, you know, that time definitely helped me. I don't look too much into it. You know, I don't want to put a blame on oh, two camps back to back or anything else. It was just uh, when I got in there. You know, I, d I didn't have that that normal normal zip, but. Um, you know, maybe, maybe it's just the time away from home the whole time as well. You know, I haven't, I haven't been back to Ireland, you know, spent as much time there as, as I used to. And, and I, I feel like I went back the other week and um, it kind of reminded me what, what I'm fighting for. You know, so in them sessions when you got to push, you know, you, you think of them things. And maybe in the fight, you know, because I haven't been back for so long as well, I kind of forgot what I was fighting for. And, uh, you know, now, now I've had that little break and gone back home and, you know, I, I'm excited to get back in there and uh, you know and do it for do it for my country. All the people that supported me, whether it's from Ireland, Wales, England, you know, I've had a lot of people who's followed me from the from the start. And um, you know, when I was fighting, they were always my my motivation to train hard and to to do well. And obviously, being from a small county in Ireland, you know, um, it's a big deal. And I think getting home and realizing what it means to people, it definitely uh, it lit a fire on me and it reminded me exactly what I'm fighting for. And the matchup with Mitch, good good grappler as well, got a lot of submissions on his record. When you look at this fight, is it something that you think you see as ground skills, maybe you want to fight fire with fire, or do you think your best strategy in this is using your stand-up and your boxing skills and all that? My game plan's always the same every fight. It's, it's not a case of, I want to keep this standing, I want to take this to the ground. It's whatever opportunities he gives me, that's what I'm going to take. You know, if he gives me an opportunity for the takedown and to work my ground, that's what I'll do. Um, uh, you know, last fight I was probably a little bit, you know, too much on the feet. There was opportunities to go for the takedowns myself. But, um, you know, Faraz has made a few little tweaks in my training here that uh, I feel will, um, you know, combat against that. So I I'm not so single-minded and, um, you know, I'm looking forward to getting in there now.